Hello my good friends. So I did the mini art bodywork here. So the tritonal camouflage and I did the reverse system. So you see like with this one here, the turret, I'm going to start with the brown. So I started with the brown and then I covered it up with some, uh, you know, blue tack or whatever, the shapes I liked. And then I did the green and then I covered that up with blue tack and then I did the yellow, the dark yellow. Uh, it's a like I've, I've got a lot of work to go uh, it's not perfect how I've done it here I, I like the pattern the patterns you know pretty much how I planned it out that's my little pattern because I'm gonna paint this uh, little unit like the way I'd like it painted you know if I was in charge of this little SS battalion um, so it's come out pretty good but and there's much potential for this method so this is the way I'll be doing it in future I think um, with practice and stuff like you could do some really great things but it doesn't look too bad does it it looks um, you know a bit cleaner and stuff and of course I haven't uh, done anything like I've just put the yellow one so uh, there's been no uh, clear gloss or anything which will tie it more together and um, yeah, a lot of work to do to get it more tied together and stuff, but that's just raw how it's come out, which is pretty good. And also you get the good modulation effect. So, you know, I modulated every step of the way. So the, the brown, the green, and then the yellow, you know, I used a lot of colors. Like I used, you know, like uh, 12 colors just in that. You know, a lot of bottles there. You know, some of them are just over there sort of thing but yeah used a lot of color so it's pretty good it's a good uh, way of doing things and I've started making the outside shirts and I'll maybe call it for the turret we'll do that separately but no nah, so I use this one as this is my first experiment now I'll do the turret and um, I can do that without the, the gun the gun can come out, it's probably just expanded in the heat because we're in a heat wave. So I'll take that out and I'm thinking about, um, you know, putting some white there and maybe putting a symbol on the side of that. So we'll see how that goes. And um, yeah, I'll be able to put the, so we'll just get this cleaned up and then I can start putting the, the wheels and the tracks on. And we'll get this finalised and ready for the weathering process. But I just thought I'd show you that quickly. It's a great, great tank by Mini Art. Wonderful stuff. Enjoyed every step of it. And I also managed to pull this camouflage thing off without damaging it too much. But yeah, be very careful. Especially if you're using blue tack. God, that stuff destroys things. You know, I broke the the the, the thing in there. But that, that could be fixed easy. There's a few other little things I broke, like that thing at the back. But I knew I was going to break that. But uh, all the antenna is still intact and everything was pretty good. Some of the little, one of the little tall clips sort of broke a little bit, but that's no biggie. I don't think you'll even notice it. So I'll let that dry up more, give it a good clean, and then we'll seal it. But uh, next we'll go on to this. Get this one camouflaged up. The other ones are really starting to look good, so the... Uh, the chipping's growing, the rusting's growing, especially out the back here. We'll have the back done finish soon. Have this ready for action. It's a beautiful tank by Ming. And that's not too bad by border. Alright guys, I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.